In this video, I'm going to show you how I installed the soffit on my new shed. Now before I get started, I should probably explain a couple of terms that you may not be familiar with. The first is eaves, and the second is soffit. So eaves are the portion of your roof that extends out kind of beyond the wall of the structure that you're building. On the underside of the eaves, I'll be installing what's called a soffit which is made up of some boards with vents that are pre-cut into them to allow air to exchange up under the eaves so that if any moisture gets up in there it prevents any mold from growing and the moisture can, uh, can dry out through the air exchange. Now in order to install the soffit I have to first build a frame out of 2x4s and 2x2s and that's the process you're seeing here and that frame is needed so I'll have something to nail the soffit into. So building this frame was pretty straightforward. I used my level to transfer the height of the fascia to the wall of the shed. And then using those marks, I screwed up some two by fours, making sure that they hung out past the edge of the shed to be flush with the edge of the fascia that is going up the rake or up the angles of the shed at the gable end. Now that overhang exists because I'm gonna be building something called a bird box at the end of my shed. And I'll show you more about that in just a few moments. Once these 2x4s were up, I installed some small cross braces out of 2x2 just using some pocket screws for the attachment. These are not structural in nature, they don't bear any weight really, they're just there as uh, something to receive the nails that I'm going to be using to, to nail in the soffit. Alright, with the long edges taken care of, it was time to start working on these bird boxes. These were kind of a pain in the neck and, and bird boxes always are. You just have to very carefully measure and then re-measure and then right before you cut, measure one more time to make sure that you're not going to cut things the wrong size. I went through quite a bit of wood that I cut just a little bit wrong. They don't need to be perfect, they just have to fit well enough to act as nailers for the soffit when I put it up. So I used 2x6 for the fascia board, but only 2x4 for the ladders that I built going up the edge of the rake here, so I had to add just a little bit more framing here as well. Alright, so that finished off all the framing I had to put in. It was time to install the soffits. Now this soffit material is really flimsy, and I was working alone, so as you've seen in some of my other videos, I just used some clamps to hold it up where I needed to put it, and I thought this was going to work great. It was uh, holding up there and everything was just hunky-dory until I made this little adjustment and oh, the whole thing came down. Luckily it didn't shatter, but to add insult to injury, the clamp decided it was falling off too. So I recruited the help of my son and he was able to get under one end and help make sure it's not going to fall down and break. Once we had it kind of wrestled up where it needed to go, I just used a brad nailer to nail it about every 8 inches or so down along both edges and across those little extra braces that I put in underneath. Once the long edges were done, it was time to deal with these bird boxes. And like I mentioned, they're kind of a pain in the neck. so. Lots of measuring involved and lots of very careful cutting, especially because at this point in the construction, things weren't quite exactly square anymore. I would have one end of this be, you know, a sixteenth of an inch shorter than the other end, for instance. So it was a lot of trial and error to get these to fit just exactly right, but once they were a good fit, then I could just tack them up there with the brad nailer. And that's all that's going to be used to hold these in place. Now, this might be a mistake that I'm making. I've never done this before, so I'm just kind of guessing. But I don't think these are going to need much more than just a brad nailer to hold them up there. Once the soffit material was done, I needed to fill out the last piece of fascia. And uh, rather than trying to measure and transfer all those measurements down to boards down by the saw, I decided to hold up a piece of the trim that I was going to use as my fascia board and then mark the back then off camera I went and cut right along that mark and held it back up there again. Now this got me pretty close to where I needed to be 
but that bottom edge is coming down at kind of a funny angle. So to get this marked correctly, I just grab my level and line that up with the front edge of the corner of the fascia board that's already there and just mark that off. Ran down to the saw and got that cut off and then it made a really nice fit. Now I know I went through that pretty fast and a lot of you are here just because you're trying to figure out how to build a bird box while you're trying to build a shed as well. So I'm going to go through that process again on the other side at a different angle so hopefully you can see it just a little bit better. So I started by making sure that my soffit for this side of the bird box was cut out correctly and when I was happy with the way that it was uh, fitting then I went ahead and nailed it in. Then I grabbed the piece of fascia that I was going to use in this corner and I held it up there in more or less the correct location and then used a pencil to mark the back side even with the soffit I just installed. You can see the line there. Went down to the saw and cut that off. Then I came back with that piece now cut on the one side to fit and lined it up to get ready to cut off this bottom side here which is hanging down at the wrong angle. So I grabbed my level and line that up with the very bottom corner of the fascia that's already installed up the rake. You'll see a little better angle of that here in just a moment right there. So you can see that part I'm going to be cutting off so that whole bottom side is perfectly level. Once that was cut off and I was happy with the way it looked, then I just nailed it in. With the bird boxes finished, I just had to go up the rakes. And this was a pretty straightforward process. Just measure very carefully. Cut my lengths of soffit to the right size. And nail them up with the brad nailer. So that's it. That's all that there was to it, to installing the soffit. Uh, it just took a little bit of careful planning to get the framing just right. Get everything placed where it needed to be. And I'm really happy with the results. Uh, the soffit turned out really, really great. And so if you've learned something from this or if you enjoyed this video, I'd sure appreciate it if you hit the little thumbs up at the bottom. And if you want to see what's next on the shed, then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. And uh, as always, thank you very much for watching.